Genesis chapter 4, verse 15. And the Lord said unto him, that means God said to Cain, it was a conversation between Cain and uh, God. Therefore, whosoever slayed Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark. Everybody, everybody say mark. Say mark. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain. And what was a mark? This one has been set apart for suffering and disgrace on earth. And if any man sees this vagabond and then kills this man upon the mark I have put on him, I will avenge the death of Cain upon that man. How many times? Seven fold. Seven times. So God himself does not play with marks. There are people with library of CVs. When I mean, when I say library, I mean what I'm saying. They have, they have done so, so degree, they have masters, they have doctorate degree, but wherever they are going with their CV, there is another mark of rejection that goes ahead of them. Before they get there, no, 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 no. We don't want you. Uh, your papers look good, uh, but uh, they must find one reason or the other to displace the person so that the person will not be employed. I was told a story some years ago that there was a man who was living. He had a good job, but each time the white man we pay this man. Somebody in the spirit world, we first of all came and collect the money. So the man receives the cash without the value. He receives the physical cash without the value of the money. Somebody takes the value from him. So one day, the white man had pity on him and said, please, can I tell you something? He said, yes. Okay, the next salary you want to receive, make sure you get a very sharp cutlass. Get a sharp cutlass. And before, as I stretch my hand to give you the salary, cut the air, 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 air. Cut the air first. But make sure you don't cut my hand. So the man obeyed. Put a very sharp cutlass. As normally, the month has ended, he went there to collect his salary. And as they were giving him his salary, he brought out the cutlass and split the air open. The next thing was drops of blood on the ground. He collected his salary. By the time he got home, the mother had one hand. And we talk, oh, I want to confess. What do you want to confess? I have lost my hand. Where did you have accident? This chap cut. The woman said, since you have been working, I collect the salary first before it gets to your hand. So by the time the money gets into your hand, it has scattered. We spend it over there to buy aeroplane and all the good things. You, you just hold the paper. Every power that is representing you in the world of darkness. May the fire of God consume me today.